Crypto Slow, Cryptocurrency News and Investing. Crypto Slow here with some more crypto gains. This is the Digibyte Mining Tutorial Series Video 3. In this video, we'll do the final step, which is downloading the miner. And after we download the miner, we configure the runme.bat and we run it and we're mining coins. So in order to use this video, we're assuming that you have installed the core wallet and synced it, number one. And number two, that you've went to Digibyte Mining Field and created a user account on the pool. So with that being said, the miner that I recommend is the Alex um, version 2 and it is CC Miner Alexis 78 MS 2013 CUDA 7.5 well tonight when I went online and I went to download that miner miner and it says it's on github I clicked on it it's a dead link so with that being said I went ahead and zipped up the files and went ahead and put them on my Google Drive so I've got a link down below so you can still download the miner so it's a zip file so step one is to follow the link down below get the miner and unzip the files All right, here we go. So I've downloaded the CC miner and I'm going to go ahead and extract it. So extract all. And I'm just going to extract it to my desktop. And then we end up with these files. Okay, now here is the important step. You have to modify the runme.bat. That's what passes the website of the Digibyte mining pool and your username and worker name and credentials. So like I said, make sure you've created a worker under your username on the Digibyte mining field. To edit the .bat file, you're going to right click, edit, and if it doesn't open, just go ahead and open it with Notepad. So here's what we've got on the run file. You've got CC Miner, which tells it which program to run. We got our algorithm, which is Skeen. And we have the website address, which is the Digibyte Mining Field. So actually, if we go to Digibyte Mining Field, I can demonstrate where um, this... Hold on. Okay, let's go to the pool. So if you notice, on the pool's main website, you'll have CPU mining, GPU mining. So what that's doing is that's pointing to Digibyte Mining Field and it is allowing us to pass our credentials which we created a worker under the let's log in real quick okay so under my account we clicked on my workers and we got those workers so that is that. So let's, whatever your username is to log in to Digibyte Mining Field. So let's say it's Joe Cool. Now, that is, to reiterate, that is, see how mine says Crypto Slow up here in the corner? That's, that's my username. That's not my worker name, that's my username. So when you're configuring this file, it would be crypto slow dot whatever the name of your worker is it's arbitrary you can call it my worker and then whatever your password is whatever you created on the digibyte mining field so we're going to call it my worker pass just as long as it matches it doesn't matter now you're going to hit file save as and then you're going to drop down all files and you're going to name this dot bat Okay, and then you hit save. Yep. Okay, so now I've got this CC miner and I've configured it with my worker and username. And let's delete the zip file. 
So we've got this folder. Now, where you put this folder, it really doesn't matter. You can put it on your desktop. You can put it, um, you can put it wherever you want, really. So what I suggest is right-click copy and just go to your C drive program files 64 I created a folder called mining so we'll just we're gonna make this a new one digibyte mining enter you're gonna paste those files in just like that then you're gonna go in the folder and the Alex run right click send to desktop Okay, so now to reiterate, we have created, downloaded the miner, edited the runme.bat file. This is important because a lot of times when you download miners, it will already have a pre-configured user worker password in there and you want to make sure you're not using someone else's credentials. So anyways, and then all you do from here is run it. Okay, one of the last steps that you need to do before you run the miner is to make sure that you have a valid payment address. So, remember, we installed the core wallet. So let's open the wallet, and let's hit on Receive. And if you don't have a address, you type a label, and then you hit Request Payment, and then it will generate a line item down here in your core wallet. And then to get your address, you double-click. There you go. There's your payment address. So you're going to copy that address. Okay. Then you're going to go into DGB mining field, my account, edit account. Okay. You're going to go down here and you're going to go payment address. And you are going to paste the Digibyte wallet address there. And then something else really important. Depending on your hash rate, you can set um, how often you receive um, your coins. So remember, you're losing six DGB transaction every time you send your coins. So I'm going to bump mine up to 200. And let's go ahead and update that. So keys here, payment address and make sure you put a number in for your automatic payment threshold. That could be 10, it could be 20, but remember you lose six digibyte when it transfers. The pool has no fees, but the transfer to your wallet is a fee. So let's go ahead and hit update. Okay, great. So we've updated our account. And let's see here. Perfect. And let's click over here. And all right, let's close this. And let's go ahead and run this baby. So that's it. Boom, running. Maximize. All right, GPU intensity. Okay, some key things here. It's connected up here. It's starting. And that's it. What you're looking for to know that it works was that you get a yes and a hash rate. And that way you know you are mining. So after this runs for a little bit, um, you can go back to your Digibyte field. And if you want to verify that it's working, you're going to go check that out on the dashboard. So what I've noticed is if this is running off your NVIDIA card, it really doesn't suck up too much juice on your computer. Um, you can do other things while it's running. So what you can do here is you go back to the Digibyte mining field and you look and it will show what your hash rate is. Now, an important thing, your hash rate in your pool will not necessarily match the hash rate that you're getting over here, okay? Um, and you're asking, well, why is that? Because you get reject blocks as well 
So you're not, that's something else sometimes when you see things. People pump hash rates. The reality is you, your hash rate and you have your hash rate on your computer and you have an effective hash rate in the pool and that's how many valid blocks you get so that's it so get those coins let me know your comments uh, I left my Digibyte address down there if you want to send me a tip and uh, get those gains this is crypto slow if you're not talking gains then we're not talking